You're probably saying, in my dreams. Well, how do you know? We met a woman from Genoa, Illinois, who's living proof that it's never too late. Eileen Doman always had dreams. I remember as a grade schooler coming home and telling my dad I wanted to be a senator. But life for Eileen wasn't exactly as she pictured it. 15 seconds left. It's a search. I've spent my whole life on a search. All right, and the toast comes up, you have to butter it. She didn't wind up in Congress. She wound up in Calvert's Beauty Salon. I thought there was a door for creativity there, but contraire. Doing hair was not her, her field. Then she tried communications. Please hold information. And here's your number. I would have to answer Operator Eileen over and over and over. Uh -huh. Eileen still had an itch. You might call it the 40-year-old itch. I was determined to be an artist. I bought all the paints, and that's when I started painting my couch. And when she stopped painting the couch, she started painting the family. My name is Harry. I'm Eileen's father. And my name is Lillian, and I'm Eileen's mother. She discovered her future lay in her family's past. They were so poor, my mother's side of the family, but they have so many photographs. I started thinking to myself, now, if I paint the reality of country people and the family as I knew them, why wouldn't people be interested in that type of art? Baby Eileen with her teenage mother, Lillian. Lillian in the city with country feet. Lillian opens her Christmas underpants. She took the picture off my refrigerator and I didn't know it. Sister and Kathy would have been interested else. in a little less reality. And I had recently lost about 125 pounds. She painted my soul. She painted my pain. My all-time favorite is my grandmother sitting on the couch, looking out the window, because I think it kind of is everyone's grandmother alone, waiting for someone to come. So Pictures like these gave Eileen the courage to enter a local art show and even the critics took notice. She took one look at them. She says, we have a primitive among us. And I said, oh, that's me. You know, I'm in the back. And um, I didn't even know what a primitive artist meant. Believe it or not, in the art world, that's a compliment. They're not exact. They're, they're a little off. And I think that's what made her famous. I painted this of my aunt. I love the colors. Eileen dug into so many family albums, she finally hit pay dirt. I sold my first painting for $125, and that was the thrill of my entire life. That made husband Mike a believer. Anybody that's going to pay money for art is, is uh, she must be an artist. And she is. A year and a half after she picked up a brush for the first time, yeah, that's great. Eileen Doman's one-woman show in a trendy New York gallery nearly sold out at $4,000 a painting. We like it. We like it very much. 17 family portraits, $68,000. Depressing art is a good seller. Doing what you enjoy and getting paid for it, I think that's the American dream. She is a genius. But here's the question, how far would she go for her art? Am I going to cut my ear off? Who knows? Eileen's been promised another one-woman show here in Los Angeles early next year. But she says her ultimate dream is to have one of her paintings hang in the Museum of Modern Art. Why not, huh? We'll be right back.